hey guys in this video i'll show you how you can make money with amazon kdp without writing a single word and i'm going to show you proof that this actually works because in my email inbox you guys could see kdp royalty payment notifications i receive this almost every single month and i just have to do the work once and i get paid continually for my royalties on the books i uploaded on amazon now this strategy i'm going to teach you in this video will require that you don't write a single word at all so make sure you stick around to the very end of this video to learn every bit of the strategy now first of all how did i do this we all know amazon is the largest marketplace in the world and it gets over 2.4 billion visitors and this shows you that the platform is a viable platform if i go over to amazon kdp you'd see amazon has a book platform people actually come over to amazon to buy books now you could have your book show up in front of millions of buyers and if you rank your book first you'll be able to have people click on your book and buy from you we have both non-fiction and fiction books here so you just choose whatever works best for you now the strategy I was able to use was using books called PLR ebooks. Now, PLR ebooks are also known as private liberal rights ebooks, and what they simply mean is that these people are these books are books created by other creators or writers, and these creators give you the full rights over the book. You could edit it, change the title, change the content, and you don't get any copyright issues. Now, how did I? How did I do this Amazon KDP strategy? I'm going to show you exactly how I find my keyword, how I edit this PLR ebooks, and how I upload it to get them to rank in front of millions of people and get them to be sold. So make sure you guys stick around for that and we'll get right into it now. Now I could. I unzip the file out of a PLR ebook I bought. Okay, this is start an online coaching business. And this PLR ebook, I have the right to edit it anyhow I choose to. So now I'm going to start with the first step of this whole process, and that is the keyword research phase. Now we want to be only writing books for topics that would actually get sales on. So I'm going to go over to Amazon.com which is going to be our keyword research tool for today. And I'm also going to be using another tool called um, the Google Keyword Planner over at ads.google.com here. So you are going to go there, create an account completely free, and then you're going to come over to Amazon.com and use the search engine feature. Now, is this is going to be a really simple tutorial. So I want you to stick around. So we... We'll do this together and find a perfect keyword. Remember, the book we're supposed to write now is start an online coaching business. So I want to find a topic that people are searching for on Amazon concerning coaching businesses to see how we could create the book and optimize it around this keyword. Now I'm over at Amazon.com and um, I'll be able to see the search engine. And the search engine is literally people coming onto Amazon and they're searching different keywords for what they want to buy. And if Amazon suggests you any keyword to you, you know, it's something, a keyword that's actively searched on the platform. So I'm going to click on how to, okay, how to start. It's supposed to be suggested. It's still loading. Okay. I have a criteria for the perfect keyword and it's that it has to have a low competition rate and a high search volume search volume in the sense that people are actually searching for it and competition in the sense that there are not a lot of books in that category so how to start an online coaching you can see amazon suggested even when we put how to start a coaching business Amazon gives you other suggestions of what people are searching for on the platform. I'm going to go for this one, how to start an online coaching business. And oh, the perfect sweet spot for a good keyword is one that has less than a thousand results. You could easily rank your book in front. And this is a proven niche because you could see someone has a thousand and a thousand over a thousand sales on the on the book here. So you could hope to get good sales. I'm writing a book on this topic. You could see 
good reviews here. So we know the topic now, how to start an online coaching business. We go over to the keyword research tool to see the search volume. And when I click it onto the keyword research pool, which is at ads.google.com, I see that the keyword has 10 to 100 monthly searches and this is just an average of what Google gives you and I love this is a sweet spot it shouldn't be only it shouldn't be less than 10 searches if you have 10 to 100 and more than 100 searches then you know that is a perfect keyword so now this particular keyword I'm good to go I love the keyword and so we're going to move on to the next step of this whole process now the next step is to actually edit the book because amazon doesn't accept duplicate content so you need to make sure that you have the ability to edit the book to upload it so it's almost like a brand new ebook now i want you to go over to free article spinner.com and you'll be able to see the first result here free dash article dash spinner.com this is a spinner that i use and it's completely free I almost literally hid it for long because it was my secret weapon. It spins. I don't. I don't advise that you use spin, but I love this one particularly because it spin so professionally. And it is free, and it's not robotic. Okay. So now, once we're here, we could easily copy a section of the book here. Let's say learning. Okay. So I'm gonna copy a section of the book and go on to spin it. And the tool that we have here so on the tool here you could easily um select some words that you don't want to spin maybe this is a business book okay let's say coaching business because we know that this is a keyword people are looking for to see in the book so i would tell this tool here not to spin anything that has any word that has coaching business you can see this coaching business here will not be spinned okay so i'm going to do my basic spin here and the, the the tool is going to continue spinning and you could see guys i have a new a new a new text you can see learning something new is fun it can also be a challenge you see gaining some new new useful knowledge is fun it can like it, it can likewise be a test ordinarily we're expected to discover you this sounds perfectly okay to me guys i'm really serious this sounds so so smooth compared to when you use a tool like spinbot so you guys should like this video if you're enjoying the tools and software i'm sharing on this tutorial so once you have found and you spin your text i want you to go over to canva and actually upload this into a pdf document you don't want to use google doc because it's going to look kind of bland and unattractive so i have different ebooks templates that i use and i'm simply going to copy paste the text into my ebook template and make it kind of brand new like no one should know that you are using the plr ebook that's the rule of thumb for the plr uh, marketing mastery no one should know that you're using plr ebook so you're gonna do your best to edit it in a way that it stands out and is unique so now when i scroll down you'll be able to see my ebook templates of the books i of the template i use i'm going to easily copy paste it and once i have my pdf document ready i could easily go over to amazon kdp and start listing my new ebook okay this is the huge part okay so at, on my dashboard you guys can see i have a couple of books already existent now i'm going to click on create new book and then i'll be able to create a new book you can see create a new book okay so create a new book while the canva stuff is still loading so you guys can see how my pdf documents are going to look like okay so i'm going to quickly show you maybe an example of a pdf document i have in my inbox so you see how a new pdf should look like when you spin Oh, sorry when you edit using canva canva is going to allow you to create book covers as well as post in your text to create a fancy new book so when i click on I click on this you, you guys will be able to see a book that i was able to create on canva so you guys stick around so i show you how attractive books i create on canva look okay all right Okay. 
Okay, guys, I'm finding it hard to find the book that I edited on Canva. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so this is it. So this is one book that I was able to create on Canva. It's going to look somehow like this. Okay. So this is how the book looks like when I edited it. So you guys know that Canva is an amazing resource to use. You could see, you could easily upload the text. So it's kind of fancy and attractive for people to read. So once you are able to copy paste this from Canva, download your new PDF file as it is like this here, you are good to go for the next step. So once you have your book ready, I want you to go over to Canva and that way you'll be able to create the cover photo or the cover of your book. Now you just simply type in cover onto Canva and you'll be able to create the copy or the cover you want. Choose any template you want, edit it. Just go over to Amazon and see what is working on the platform for that particular search term and then create something similar or something a lot better than what you see on the search results so you come over to amazon kdp and you click on the type of book you want to create so you could either choose kindle ebook paperback or hardcover for starters i would recommend you start with ebooks first because you would need to create complex ebook cover designs that will be printed out with the right dimensions okay so once you're if clicked on ebook, you'll be able to fill in the details of your prospective ebook. And you'll be asked to fill in the title and you'll be asked to fill in the, um, the cover design, the PDF file. We see quite here. So you can see here, when you click here, you'll be able to add your book title. Okay, so the book title is what we've decided on already, which is how to start an online coaching business. You could go down. Make sure you leave the keywords in the book title. That way, whenever someone search for searches for how to start a coaching business, your book pops up as one of the search results and you get traffic and sales. So when you click down, you have the ability to add your name and everything. And what I want to show you is the description and the tags. This is what is going to really determine if your book shows up on the search. Okay, so I want you to write a description at least about 100 words and make sure your keyword which is how to start an online coaching business make sure it appears at least three times this way amazon indexes the result the description and sees that your book is about how to start an online coaching business and shows it as a result as a result for that particular keyword and whenever we go to amazon to search for how to start an online coaching business your book pops up and when it comes to the tags you want to add how to start an online coaching business as the first tag and i want you to go over to a, a tool called free ahrefs keyword generator and ahref is going to help you generate keywords for your amazon listing keywords related to the keyword that you've done research for so free keyword generator tool on AH, ahrefs you'll be able to see that and generate keywords for the topic you are looking to go for so when you click on the ahrefs tool you will see that ahrefs also has um, a section for Amazon so it just can help you generate keywords for Amazon I simply type in the keyword you can see Amazon here you simply type in the keyword that you're looking to go after which is how to start at online coaching business and ahs gives you other suggestions for what people are searching for on Amazon so how to start an online coaching business so AHF is also going to give you the search volume of the keyword that we're looking to go after. So you could also use this tool to find the search volume instead of Google Keyword Planner. So you weigh your choices and choose whatever goes better for you. I'm using the United States, but you could use whatever country you're trying to target. That's fine. So they give us the different search suggestions. You could see. So currently, let's not, let's uh, broaden the search so we can see other topics here. Okay, coaching business. So we could get other keyword suggestions 
from ahrefs that we're able to use most likely you will not get so many keyword suggestions and it's fine you could you don't you don't have to fill up the box of your tag for your tags to be able to rank remember we're trying to rank for one keyword which is how to start an online coaching business and if you rank for that according to google keyword planner which is the ultimate planner you see that 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 title gets a lot of searches per month and so you could hope to get some certain some decent amount of traffic from that keyword so i'm going to be using how to start a coaching business and how to start an online coaching business as well and so you set up your categories and that's it you'll be able to save onto the next place and upload your pdf and your cover set your pricing and voila you have a book that's ready to make you money on amazon so how do you find these books i made a bundle of my best performing PLR ebooks that make me passive income so i'm going to leave links to the bundle in the description if you're nigerian it's only five thousand naira so you could go this bundle makes me over five hundred dollars on amazon and more than five hundred dollars on fiverr i use this pillar ebooks to make a lot of money on these two platforms i've made mention of so if you're interested in this side hustle i'll leave links to the bundle in the description so you guys can check could check it out and i wish you luck with this side hustle i'm telling you guys once again i've showed you my earnings it works so definitely try it out and feel free to comment down your results once you're done because i'm 